Speaker of the Hour, President of Palawan Mission, Pastor Danny Malawan. Maraming salamat po. Magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. I, how are you today? All is well? God is good? All the time. I bring you greetings from the island most beautiful in the world. And the door of the airport is widely open to anyone who wishes to come and see the beautiful happy works of God. So may I just say my thanks to the organizers. Should you again decide to have another gay meeting like this, please consider Palama as the next venue. Would that be okay? And we are willing to accept you with an open arms for you to see not only the beauty of nature, but likewise how the Lord is progressing His work in that beautiful island of Palawan. In as much that uh, I was assigned to speak this morning, may I just, uh, if you please, their organizers to just plug uh, a minute that the work in Palawan is uh, very much progressing. There are only 23 islands out of 23 municipalities, Pastor Ray, and only one city. And Palawan is the largest province in the whole archipelago. And all of these municipalities 12 of which are island municipalities. And each of these island municipalities, we have a church organized. We are now focusing on each of the barangays of these uh, 23 uh, municipalities all in the island. And there are 465 barangays in the whole island of Malawi. And the Lord is blessing so much the work in the island. That's why for you, not only to enjoy the beauty of nature, but for you also to be inspired of how the Lord is blessing the work, how the Lord is leading and guiding His people in fulfilling their mission. Okay. Yung pangalan ko parang nabago. Yung opening prayer, Danilo, yung speaker ay Danilo. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. Uh, I, seldom, I seldom use presentation when I preach. But I do not know the reason why I decided to use a presentation this morning. But for the sake of learning and for the sake of our devotional this morning, I would like to read, uh, to use a presentation this morning. The title of my devotional this morning is Things That Do Not Require Talent. In the Bible, in the parable of the talents, God has gifted each one some five, others two, and one. And the reason why God has given each one a talent, this is not for the use of whatever each person wishes to do, but for the glory and praise of the one who gave us a talent. And that is God himself. Right? Now, the focus of our study devotional this morning is there are things that do not require one talent. We live in a world of absence, and the most talented do not always end up as celebrities, and those with less talent often do. Absence are written in our history and occur around us every day. This is a fact for us to accept by difference. 
The question for us to consider this morning is, why are the most talented not always the best? I know of some, and you know also people, who we expect to be one, to be successful in life in the future, but at the end, my dear friends, nalulungkot tayo, they never succeeded in whatever plans they had in the past. What, able, what enables talent's skill to be at times far more successful. So, hindi po katiyakan na yung mga nakikita natin tao na merong talents, gifted sila, ay they are assured of becoming one day successful in life. There are those who are less skilled, yet because of these forces, okay, that propel them to become successful, and this is actually the secret. That's why I would like to share that with you. There are four most prominent qualities that do not rely upon talent. Number one is what? Teachability. Okay? Teachability is the desire to listen and learn and apply is not in name, but when cultivated, it aids the growth and development of a leader. The reason why we are here, my dear friends, is for us to be able to one, reactivate the mission that God has called us to. We were all created with and for a mission. God has gifted each one, as what I have said in the parable of the talents, five, two, and one. And the reason why God has given those talents is for because of what? A mission. That's why this game seminar is a reactivation of that mission. Maari tayo ay nagwawalang bahala, pero ang Diyos has chosen us because of a mission. We have a mission. We exist in this world for a mission. Do you know this guy? You may have heard this statement, but uh, I'm sorry to say, I heard this guy spoke this, uh, said this statement, and he, he did say, never stop learning because life never stops what? Teaching. It means to say that as long as we live, learning is a process. It only ceases when we are already six feet below the ground. As long as there is life, life is always teaching us. Not for our own gain, of course, but for us to learn and be able to be a channel of blessings to those people around us, to those people whom we are always in contact with. Pride plateaus in its learning, but the teachable heart continues to scale the mountain of what? Truth. Yung mga matatalino ay ayaw ng matuto. Pag sinabi mo, sasabihin nila, alam kong yan ang sasabihin mo eh. Alam mo, mas maganda yung, mas maganda yung, yung open ang ating isipan sa pagkatuto sa lahat ng mga bagay. Not for us to say na, oh, alam ko na yan. Alam ko na yan. In fact, hindi mo pa iniisip. Alam ko na ang sagot mo. Hello? So, pride plateaus what? The learning process of a person. But a teachable heart continues to what? Help the person grow and develop. According to Henry Brooks Adams, they know enough who know how to learn. Hello? They know enough what? Who know how to what? How to learn. So, kung tayo ay handang matuto araw-araw sa ating buhay, mas marami tayong alam kaysa doon sa nagsasabi, oh, alam ko na yan. Okay. Next. Proverbs 9, verse 9. 
instruct the wives and they will be wise and steep. Teach the righteous and they will add to their wives. Next. That's why in order for us to develop and grow in our learning, we need to plan teachable moments, experiences in life which we count each day as one. Heaven's way for us to grow as a mature individual. As questions to draw out the depth of experiences and knowledge of people around you. Remember that your best friends are your best teachers. They are a people who have a wealth of wisdom to share. That's why there is a saying, Show me your friends and I will tell you who you are. If you have a circle of friends that will help you grow, develop into a mature individual, these are the kinds of people around you that will teach you, that will help you grow and succeed whatever you plan to have in the future. Belkazar Christian said, Make your friends your teachers, and mingle the pleasures of one conversation with the advantages of instruction. Next. Jan Maxwell reiterated, Live to learn, and you will really what? Learn to live. Let me say that again. Live to learn, as long as we are what? Breathing. Each day that counts is one, a learning day for us. Live to learn and learn, you will really learn to. That makes life enjoyable if we live to learn. That will guide us to experience life at its best. If we are open to learning each day. Next, please. Successful people view learning differently than those who are less successful. For successful leaders, learning is as necessary as what? Breathing. So, titigil lang yan yung learning kapag tayo ay already six feet below the ground. They gain knowledge, seek it through books, conferences, conversations, evaluated experiences. There are so many things, avenues, where they get what? Learn from. And these are the what we call successful people. And you want to be one, right? The reason why we are here, the reason why we are sitting down and listening to the battery of speakers simply because we want to learn, we want to develop something, not for our own gain, not for our own interest or praise, but for the glory and honor of Him who called us for this mission. We pray for something. We learn many things. For but for unsuccessful care persons, they are burdened by learning and prefers to walk down the familiar paths. Tama na ito. Okay na ito. At least may alam ako. Hello? Hindi tayo dapat ganun, di ba? Dapat ay sa bawat bagay na ating ginagawa, nakikita, naririnig, lahat ito ay pwede nating pagkunan ng mga ano, ng mga bagay sa ating mong ikatututo. Yesterday, we were talking with, I was talking with Pastor Milde. Uh, we were talking about leadership. Uh, and I told Pastor Ray, you know, to, in order for you to have a unique way of leading the, the church or the people, you've got to get a piece from other leaders. Learn from them. Leadership is just like a puzzle, right? You don't complete the puzzle unless, you know, di ba yung, yung puzzle ay by this young piece, okay? You don't complete the puzzle unless you put the one that is very essential and important to complete the whole puzzle, to make your leadership unique. And that is what I said, that's your own way of leadership. Putting them all together, that makes you one good leader. That's why 
Those who are unsuccessful, my dear friends, they are burdened by learning. Tama na. O at least meron na akong alam. Their distaste for learning stunts their growth and limits their influence. If you have friends, circle of friends, who do not want to learn anymore, hey, you have to decide right at the moment. If you want to grow, if you want to succeed, if you want to be a channel of blessings to all, look for someone, a circle of friends at that in your peace, for you to grow and make a difference from others. Second thing that do not require talent is initiative. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng initiative? You have the urge to do things, right? Even without being told. Yes or no? Yes, that's an issue. You see? That is not talent. You do things without even being told. It is the inner drive that propels leaders to achieve great dreams. So we, members of the church, we who are here today, we have dreams. And that dream is for the glory of God. And that dream is to accomplish the mission that God has given to this church. And it is only by having that one thing that do not require talent that will propel us to achieve our one, our dreams, our mission. Initiative is another thing. Benjamin Franklin reiterated, to succeed, jump as quickly at opportunities as you do at conclusions. Marami tayong kilala na mga taong wala pang introduction nagpukuklod na gaga. Right? Tama? Ang sabi dito ay ano? In order for us to succeed, jump as quickly at what? Opportunities. Grab it right there. Because opportunity only one knocks once. And if it passes, no more. Hindi na natin kung pwede nga ano, marigreed yung nawalang sandarinyo. That's why when the opportunity comes, grab it. That is what in order for us to succeed. Never right away to what? Conclude. Jump as quickly. Next please. Young people with initiative have an eagerness to make things what? Happen. They have a positive restlessness that prevents them from being content with others. He accepts responsibility for his own life. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Pag nagkamali tayo, huwag natin i-play kanita. Pag nagkamali tayo, tanggapin natin. Right? Dahil kapag hindi natin tinanggap ang pagkakamali natin, how could we learn? It is only when we accept our one responsibility, whether it be for the good of anyone or hindi man naging maganda, accepting the fact, the responsibility, means that we are open to learning. We accept responsibility for our own path. Next please. Leadership. Ezekiel 36 verse 27. I will put my spirit within you. I will take the initiative and you will obey my statutes and carefully observe my regulations. You see, I will put my spirit. This is God's promise to anyone who is willing and open to learning. God will give us the spirit in order for us to do things even without being told. Right? We don't need to be pushed. We don't need to be tapped on our shoulders. We do it according to one, to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And by doing so, my dear friends, we are accomplishing our mission and we are giving 
glory and honor to God. Next please. Albert Hubert says, The world bestows its prizes, both its money and honors, on one thing, and that is what? Initial. What is missing in them? It is doing the right thing without being. Sa Tagalog yan ay, ano yun? May pusa. May pusa. Hindi yung pinapalo na tayo, doon pa lang tayo kikilos. May pusa. Next please. Initiators are activators. Tama ba? Ha? Initiators are activators. Initiators are actors. They are the men of what? So tama na. Yung atin pong activate formation, we need initiative. Because the initiators are the men and women of action. They do not only hear, they do not only listen. When they go back, they put them in what? Application. That makes one the mission accomplished. Number three, and I'm soon to sit down. Passion. Passion is a faultless predictor of success. You know, when we say passion, we are putting our spirit, our mind, our heart, our soul into it. Right? We have only one mission. And God is looking for someone, anyone, who has that passion in accomplishing the mission by putting his what? Spirit, his mind, his soul in everything. Because the absence of one, we cannot accomplish and never we can see the fulfillment of our dream and of our mission. And that is to proclaim the good tidings of salvation to anyone who hears us even at midday. How many high achievers lack enthusiasm? How many great leaders do you admire who are indifferent? A dispassionate person will not go far before they give up hope of achieving big dreams. Passion is number three thing that does not require talent. While a person of passion will move mountains to see their dream come. Next please. When it comes to passion, there are two kinds of people. One is what? Firefighters. And the other one is fire lighters. If I'm going to ask you this morning, which of these two would you like to side with? What about the firefighters? Who would want to become a firefighter? Okay. What about fire lighters? Let me see your hands. Do I have an audience today? Okay, let me ask you again. Those who choose five fighters, let me see your names. No one? Oh, a little. A few. Five lighters. Wow. One of my CCC to have. Listen. Next, please. Five fighters focus on what's strong with an idea rather than what's right. See, Pastor Greg Cascadina, while he was seated beside me, uh, he brought a joke. Pastor, how, how, how was your trip coming to Batangas? Sabi niya, napakaganda po, napakaganda. Oh, talaga, napakaganda. Oh, ang ganda ng biyari. 
Ganun ho ba? Uh, hindi ho ba maligalik yung rorong sinangkan nyo? Hindi po. Sabi niya ang ganda eh. Ano po yung kinaganda? Kasi ang sinangkan ko, ocean deep. Hello? Ang maganda sa kanya, nakita niya sa halip na sagutin niya ng straight yung tanong, sabi niya, ang ganda ng biyahe mo po. Kumusta yung travel ng Roro? Ang ganda ko, pero ang sinakyan ko ay ocean jet. Hello? Okay. Firefighters focus on what's wrong, what is negative, rather than what is right. Who are they? They possess the doubting spirit. Oh, I'm sorry. Sila yung, yung sasabihin ko pala na, tama na, nasubukan na natin yan eh. Hindi nag-click. Di ba naman? Oh, nangangailangan ng malaking hala kayo eh. Doon lang tayo sa kaya natin. There is a change. Marami na tayong ginawang pagbabago pero wala pa rin nangyari. Ito na lang tayo sa dati. At least itong dati kahit na kaupaon yung nila, kumuuro. Ah, kumuuro. Kumuusap. Diba? They love the words, yes. Pero may kanungso. Gandang lalaki mo sa akin. Kaya lang. They always find flaws. Wrongs, negatives, they dampen the fire inside of those around them. That's firefighters. Next please. Avoid firefighters at all costs. Next please. What about firelighters? Oh, they are in characters. Yan ang mga, yan ang mga tao dapat nating lapitan. Dahil yung mga tao, mga firelighters, sila ang nag-a-activate ng mission natin, mga kapatid. Sila yung mga tao hindi pa natin nakikita, ay nakikita na nila na maatapis ang isang bagay. Sila yung mga tao, sige, kaya mo yan. Kaya mo yan. Hindi ka naman nag-iisay. Dalawa tayo. Hindi lang tayo dalawa, marami tayo. Hello? Do you relate? Firelighters are in heritage. They are actors. Right? They are initiators. They are passionate. They uplift and sustain others through tough times. Okay. They share in triumphs and spar others toward bigger and better performances. They prioritize their commitments according to their one passion. They refuse to be dissuaded from living out the dream inside them. When trouble comes, they don't have to artificially generate perseverance. It sweeps over them like ocean. Sa Palawan, ay merong kasamihan kung sama-sama kaya niya. Hello? Ang CLC, ano yung sa CLC? Pastor? Uh, lahat ay kasali, walang saling usa. Tama? Lahat ay bubuhan Walang pagbigat. So ito yan, yung mga light, the fire lighters, right? Uh, they, they put, they put, you know, uh, they put God above anything that happens to them. If there are roadblocks along the way, they could easily what? They could easily uh, cross over simply because they know that they are not alone. Just bear in mind, friends, that we have a mission to do. And accomplishing the mission, you are not alone. We are two, three, four, we are many. We are a church, my dear friends. And God is the one giving us the strength and the power to accomplish such mission that He has given us. Firelighters are inheritors. 
There are people who inspire people. There are people who support other people. And these fine lighters, they apply what we call the 29th doctrine of the Seven Adventist Church. How many parents do we have? There are only 28, right? But there is 29. But we still can see the what? The impact of this. If only we allow the Holy Spirit to take control of our lives, right? Man. Hindi magkatagal patatapos ang gawain. The 29th doctrine of the Seventh day Adventist Church. Pero huwag niyo kong susubuka. At yan ay walang iba kundi yung the doctrine of one another. Is that in the Bible? Yes or no? Love one another, support one another, strengthen one another, pray for one another, inspire one another. What else? And these are the kind of people who will activate the mission. These are the kind of people who will become blessed to all. These are the kind of people who want the work of God succeed. They are the fire lighters. Next please. Number four is carrots. Carrots is an everyday test. According to Winston Churchill, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the carrots to continue that counts. In accomplishing our mission fails, and in order for us to activate the mission, we need carrots. Right? Tapang lakas ng loob ang atin pong kailangan. This will continue, my dear friends. Next, please. I learned that carriage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not the one who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. That is according to Nelson Mandela. We often think of carriage as a quality required only in times of great danger or stress. Next, please. Always on sweet Martin, there can be no failure to a man who has not lost his carriage, his character, his self-respect, or his self-confidence. He is still a king. It is passion, yeah, carriage is an everyday virtue needed to live a life without regret. Anonymous, never regret anything that has happened in your life. It cannot be changed, undone, or forgotten. So take it as a lesson, learn, and move on. In the words of James Harvey Robinson, greatness in the last analysis is largely bravery. Carriage is escaping from old ideas and old standards and respectable ways of doing things. While we were talking with Pastor Fiekas, ang sabi niya, alam mo, the Lord is blessing the church today. Never we have dreamed of one day seeing the church using this high tech. Right? Never! Never. And yet God is opening the door, opening the opportunity, opening all the, world, the possibilities in order for us to get in touch to those people who we seldom see, who we seldom want, get in touch with. It is only through one, mid air. Okay, so we need to get away from old ideas, standards, and what? Embrace. What is new at this moment? And that is what? The internet network. Please, next please. We need courage to seek the truth when we know it may be painful. 
Give me the courage to say the truth, for often in its discovery, there will be disappointment, pain, and despair. We need courage to change when it is easier to remain comfortable. Next, please. We need courage to express our convictions when others challenge us. We need courage to learn and grow especially when doing so exposes our weakness. Courage for us to grow. We need courage to take the high road when others treat us badly. We need courage to lead when being in front makes us an easy target of criticism. Miguel Cervantes summarizes courage. He who loses well loses all, loses much. He who loses a friend loses more. But he who loses his courage loses all. Conclusion, there is no substitute for talent. And we know that. We accept that. But there are several supplements that can transform even modest talent into greatness. What are they? Teachability, initiative, passion, courage are just but swat, sample qualities that endow talent with effectiveness and spark other schemes into extraordinary success stories. Last slide, don't minimize talent, but magnify qualities that can accompany it and build them day by day for the glory and honor of God. God bless you. Thank you so much, Mr. Daniel Palaban.